There is something else happening around the world. Places of worship are reopening one after another, from the Church of Nativity in Bethlehem to the Golden Temple in India and Saudi Arabia, which has announced that it would hold a limited Hajj. We asked today, how safe is it for people to participate in religious gatherings in the middle of a pandemic? Is it worth risking your life? Easter at home, Passover in balconies, a quiet Baisakhi and an empty Mecca on Ramzan. These visuals define this year's religious calendar, one marked by somber events and prayers at home to combat the Wuhan virus. Six months into 2020, things are beginning to change. Places of worship have reopened, from the Church of Nativity in Bethlehem to Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Golden Temple in India. The latest is an announcement from Saudi Arabia. Riyadh has decided to hold a limited Hajj, meaning it will be limited to worshippers residing in the kingdom. The Arab world welcomed the move, as did the rest of the nations. But lost in the cheer was a critical question. Is a limited Hajj synonymous with a safe Hajj? As places of worship reopen one after another, can we rule out the risk of COVID-19? This was Mecca on April 24th, empty on the onset of the holy month of Ramzan. What has changed in the last two months? Has the risk of the virus gone? Quite the opposite. The numbers are on the rise. More deaths are being reported. What happens if a place of worship becomes a spot for a cluster outbreak? It is not unprecedented. Remember how the virus spread in South Korea? One patient, 31, and one Sunday mass was enough to drag South Korea into the COVID-19 whirlpool. What if this happens at another place of worship? What if this happens in India with its packed temples and mosques? It sounds ominous and is highly probable, even when organizers say the number of visitors will be limited. Look at what happened in Puri at the Jagannath Rath Yatra or the Chariot Festival. The reality looks something like this. It happened today, norms were flouted and there was no social distancing. Instead, worshippers chose to place their trust in the Almighty. Similar sentiments were echoed in Indonesia in mid-April, when the world was respecting a modified Ramzan Worshippers in Aceh province wanted to pray together. With us praying together, we hope God Allah will bless the world and that this pandemic will be over soon. Because we believe if we pray together, Allah will answer our prayers. Today, Indonesia has nearly 50,000 cases. Even God helps those who help themselves. Is it too hard to stay at home and pray at home for one odd year? Bureau Report, We On World Is One.